What is up you guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing wonderful day I posted a poll on Instagram so you guys could ask me any questions that you may have So in this video, I'm gonna be answering as many questions as I can as well as cleaning up my room My room is kind of messy right now. So let's get right into the video so I have all of them pulled up on my phone and for each one I'm gonna put the question on the screen for you guys just so you guys can see the question and then I will answer it So let's get to the first question. All right, so the first question is what is it like owning a lowered car? Hold on, let me go put a hat on then my hair looks crazy. Oh My god, this is the most confusing fit I've put on In the history of my lifetime. This is so bad, bro You know what? We're just gonna put on my kaiju squad hat I mean, it's a little better. Question is, what, what, what? Bro. Oh my god. The question is, what is it like owning a lowered car? And this is crazy that I'm talking about this because I absolutely just ate it yesterday. So you know, with the lower car, you gotta be pretty cautious, right? You're not only looking at your surroundings, but you're looking at the road and if there's any potholes. Not only that, but some driveways are super, super steep, like the road will be flat, but then the driveway just angles and has like the craziest incline ever. So you also gotta watch out for those and angle it. I've just grown up around lowered cars and I think that I've just grown to like how it looks when they're like low and sitting on the ground. Thankfully, the air suspension on the FRS makes it a little bit easier when you see those big dips and those huge potholes or you're in a construction zone. Really, the only thing you have to do is press a button. The air makes it a lot easier uh, when you're driving, the roads don't eat your car up because you're a lot higher. I am so thankful for the bags because without those bags, it is so hard to drive the car with the pan and wide body on because the front splitter is like this wide. So the bags really do play a really big part with the FRS. I would not be able to drive the FRS without the bag. I couldn't even get up the driveway so we had to get ramps. And then after ramps, we got air and I'm so thankful for the air. Let me tell you guys a quick story. Yesterday I was out with a homie and we were just chilling. We're at Del Taco. We're about to leave. So I turn on the car, I air up, and in front of me is a super deep gutter. Now if you guys don't know what gutters are, they're like, the road basically looked like this and then the gutter just like just dropped right when I pulled into the spot I didn't scrape at all so I was like oh I'm fine like that means I could leave me and my homie are both parked backwards and so we're both gonna exit so he told me like okay you can go first as I make my left I feel my rear left dip down and then all of a sudden it's just like I can hear it so vividly and I look at my rear mirror and his windows open I look at him he's like and he's like looking at my rear corner. I check my, my pad for my air and I'm on ride height and I'm like, okay, like this is a good height. Like I'm not aired out. I'm not driving aired out, so that, that's good. And then I, so I'm like, I'm on the right setting. Like what am I bottoming out on? I yell at him, like, was that my canard or is that my bumper? He was like, it was your canard. And I was like, bro, what the heck? I literally came in the same way and I didn't scrape and I left and I scraped. I was like, how does that make any sense? So I got out of the gutter, it was like scraping a little bit more, and then I pulled and then he parked up right next to me and we both got out and we checked it. It wasn't that bad, I'll show you guys later in the video. Even with air, like the roads are not nice to you when you have a lowered car, that's just how it is. But again, seeing your car belly down while it's parked in front of a nice scene is like the best feeling ever. So yeah, overall owning a lowered car has its pros and cons, but I see more pros in it than cons. So yeah, I'll show you guys what that gutter did to the canard after I finish my room. <laughs> All right, so next question, what do you think people take for granted the most? Honestly, I think overall people take a lot of things for granted. For example, one of them could be your health, how healthy you are right now, you know? One thing I think most people take granted for, at least my age, are honestly a call or text from our parents. One thing that I've incorporated with my everyday life is to always say I love you to the people that I love, just because you never know, right? Like, that could be the last time that you talk to them or the last time that you say I love you to them, you know? So yeah, that's something that I've incorporated and of course I say that in my my parents all the time if you still get calls from your parents you are one of the luckiest people on earth because there's a lot of people that don't get those calls anymore it's kind of one of those things where you don't realize it until it's gone so yeah definitely calls from loved ones or parents all right so next question is what is something you wanted to do with your car but can't bring yourself to do you guys know a car is never finished being built you can't there's endless mods to a car it would probably be getting new taillights 
It's kind of like I already have taillights right now, so I don't need to buy a new pair. It's the fact that the taillights have been cooked for a while, and it's something I just haven't brought myself to do. Like, I know it's something that needs to be done, but at the same time, it isn't, like, on my mind, you know? But it's always something I wanted to do. But, I mean, as far as something I, like, always wanted to change and do, but I haven't just, like, done it, definitely the taillights. I don't feel the need to replace them. I want to, but I don't feel like the need to, but it's something I always wanted to do, you know? Our next question is, what is your greatest achievement? I feel like answering this question is kind of hard because I'm still really young. I'm 18, right? And I feel like this is kind of like a question to ask when you're like older. But if I really think about it, my greatest achievement would probably be building up the courage to follow my dreams of being a content creator, influencer, investor. And I'm actually really, really glad that I chose this path. I know that a lot of my friends in college right now are second guessing their career, what they want to do with their life. And I don't mean to pat myself on the back, but I'm really proud of myself for figuring out what I want, how I want to do it, and when I want it done. Figuring that out kind of a little bit earlier than everyone else gave me that head start because I was already working on my dreams as a senior you're in high school really I think it's all about having multiple streams of income let's say for example you have six streams of income right you have three passive and three active let's say one of your active streams of income fall you have an extra two that's holding you up and you also have your three passive that are coming in slowly you know so I think it's really just about having multiple streams of income so if one fail you have more to back you up and without a doubt it's it's challenging and it's hard trying to juggle all of your streams of income but you know every path has their rugged roads and so you know that's a road that I'm willing to go down you know but without getting too too deep in it that is for another video if you guys do want we're gonna go ahead and go to the next question <laughs> favorite Fortnite character. That is crazy. I don't wear him a lot because he's a huge hitbox, but honestly, Thanos, and then wearing him too, like, it's, I wouldn't say it's a, it's not a rare skin by the game, but like, no one buys Thanos because of like, the hitbox is like, bigger. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's a pretty good skin to like, rock for like, memes, but his shoulder pads are like, ginormous, so that like, blocks me a little bit, which is kind of annoying. If you have uh, no clue what I'm talking about right now, uh... <laughs> It's all right. All right, next question. S13 Sylvia or 300ZX? Honestly, I think the 300ZX looks better stock body, but I actually love how clean the S13 is. I would personally pick the S13 over the 300ZX. I think it looks super, super clean. Both cars look amazing, right? But I think the, I would definitely go with Sylvia. Next question, are you and your girlfriend still together? Yes, we are. <laughs> Oh, you guys can see how jacked my hamper is. I've had this for like the longest time and everyone has been telling me to throw it away, but I'm like, it still works, you know? It's, uh, it's a little torn, but it still works. So I'm just gonna use it until it probably like the metal snaps or something. Um, I have another one, but it's downstairs holding some clothes in there. So that one is not as ripped as this one, but this one's pretty bad, but it's okay. We're gonna keep using it. Future plans, kind of a broad question. But uh, as far as like lifestyle, investing a lot of my time into uh, content creation, learning, working on my body, growing on social media. And I really wanna get myself out there more in the business aspect. If you guys don't know, I work 24 seven. I told my parents I would rather hustle 24 seven than work a nine to five. I gotta live up to what I say. I'm always working. If you see me on my phone, I'm most likely working on content or editing. If you see me on the computer, I'm working. If you see me playing games, I'm working because I post gaming content. You know, like there are of course times when I go out with my friends, cousins, family, we have dinner or uh, I gotta run errands and it's just like a nice drive. But then even when I'm out, I'll take content for the FRS, you know? But definitely the hardest thing about working for yourself is discipline. Unlike a job, no one's telling you when to work, you know? But we're just gonna keep on growing. Future plans as far as cars, I'm really aiming to get the 400Z, but I told myself I got bigger things to attend to than buy myself a car. I have other purchases that I think are more beneficial. So who knows, maybe the time I'm ready to buy the 400, there might be something new and then I want that but you know God always works his miracles so everything for like future car plans are like lingering in my head but I'm not like a hundred percent focused on it right now you know okay so anyways my room is pretty much cleaned up we're gonna go ahead and go over one more question okay this one says go to Omega Mart 
I've actually already been to Area 15. It was pretty dope inside. I didn't go into all of the little like activities that they have, but I did go to Area 15. Super, super dope. How do you like my new Civic PS? I got a verbal tuna already. I saw the video, that's super, super dope. Nice, bro. What do you do for a living besides YouTube and clothing brand. You know, a lot of people really do think I have a clothing brand. That's crazy. I actually have a shoe cleaning business, but I do post outfits. I kind of rotate, uh, switch off, um, but I will post outfit reels on my shoe page just to get myself out there a little more. You know, that's crazy because so many people have told me I should start my own clothing brand because of like my style, you know, people would be like, bro, I would cop instantly with what you come up with or what you create, you know. A couple brands of mine are in the works, so stay tuned for that. I'm really, really trying to push on YouTube, but you guys know filming takes a little bit, editing takes a little bit, it's all a process, but honestly, I love the grind and this year, this grind is personal. Well, it is 11.44 and I have not eaten breakfast yet. This is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. I got some really good entertaining videos for you guys. Make sure you turn on your post notifications if you haven't already. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So it was this rear left canard. And I ate it right there. And then, oh my gosh, the camera's gonna, the camera's gonna die. And then right there, can you guys see that? Like right inside, hold on. Focus, focus, focus. Lock in! So hit like the tip of it, and the tip of that right there, but.